What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Uh, talk therapy. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm back again at the park. And no, no, I am not going to bring attention to this handsome face. Uh, I'm not going to do that because, I, you know why? Because that shit is not something I'd actually say if, if I knew you in real life. You, you watching me, you right there. I, is somebody over there? God damn, there's people all over this fucking park. This park is a joke. That's not something I'd fucking say if you met me. I wouldn't draw attention to this chiseled jawline. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even express anything about that to you. I don't even know why I do that. It's uh, something you learn, I guess, from perhaps watching maybe professional wrestlers or uh, perhaps actors portraying a role in a movie. Something you do to add a little bit of attitude to your personality, maybe to, to tweak it just a little bit, to become a tad bit more charismatic than you actually are in real life. I'm a boring motherfucker. I'm going to put it to you, to, to you blunt. I'm, I'm going to say it to your face. Uh, yeah, because this is talk therapy. That's what this is. This is me talking to the phone, which is just the middleman to the people. And I don't expect this to set the world on fire, so it doesn't really matter how long it goes, commenter who bitched about that in my fucking massage video. I'll talk as long as I want, as I need, because I need to talk a long time. This is not stand-up comedy. This is not tweaking and perfecting, honing and refining your five-minute set. To, to then display on The Tonight Show. This is uh, not that. This is therapeutic. This is what I need or I'm going to explode. This is what I need to do or I'm just going to die. I'm going to put it to you that way because people die of loneliness. I've read the statistics. It's as bad for you as cigarette smoking, at least to the best of my recollection. That's what I heard, so I'm going to go with that little factoid. Uh, yeah. I've been feeling bored for the vast majority of the day. Not depressed. Sad at moments. There's a difference between sadness and depression. I haven't been depressed for a good couple of few years. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I'm just rambling. This is going to be a boring video. This is a, a, a video about feelings, about emotions, about sensations. And that's what it's going to be. You know the danger, the danger of, of not being yourself in a vlog uh, the danger of that is if you meet people in real life that have seen you on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, wherever you post your videos, uh, yeah, and you're not yourself, and you're talking about this handsome face and this chiseled jawline and blah, 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 they're going to think you're just an arrogant fuck, and they're going to think you're cocky, and they're, gonna, they're going to treat you just like a little bit of a dick. Because of it. No, I wouldn't draw attention to the face if I wasn't on camera right now. That's just something you learn from wrestling, from, from actors in movies, and uh, something you do just to turn that attitude dial up just a little fucking bit to, uh, to bring color to your personality. That's what it is, people. That is what it is. If you met me, no, I wouldn't say these things. I wouldn't say that part of it, but I'd say everything else if we were having a deep and meaningful conversation, which we wouldn't have, because I'm a, I am a hikam, hikamak, what is the term in Japanese? Hikakamori, introverted, socially isolated hermit loner, and no, we would not talk like this. I probably would not say much at all. So yeah, so the danger of not being yourself on YouTube if you... If you smoke weed and you get drunk and you talk about taking girls' panties off and all that shit that I used to say, people are going to treat you in a negative way. 
in a bad way because they don't understand that you're hyping it up for the camera. They don't get that you're you're utilizing words and sentences and phrases and and uh, sexuality just to be comedic and entertaining. They don't get it. They don't understand it. They don't they don't recognize that you're playing heel the heel wrestler guy and you're just saying things on purpose. Uh to to uh, trigger people to trigger conversation and comments and shizzle like that they don't get it they don't understand it they don't comprehend it and no if you're watching this and you know me i'm not talking about you i'm just talking about in general that's what i've learned over my decade plus years on youtube people don't get it man they think this is you. They think what they're hearing now is the real you. That's what they think. And this is the real me, but this is also not the real me. I don't know who the fuck I am. Because I wouldn't talk this much in person. I am an introverted, socially isolated hermit hikakamori. I know I said that out of order, but I didn't recall the exact order it was supposed to be in. Whew. So yeah. And these are the uh, the things that I've been thinking about today. When that guy said, I had no fucking charisma. I was not as charismatic, and I'm closing my eyes, as I used to be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dummy. I was hyping shit up. I was playing heel wrestler. I was saying things for comedic effect. And I was under the influence of, at that point in time, illegal substances. So that's going to change one's personality and the things that they had to say. That affected my mind and that affected the shit that I had to say. And uh, that's what I... I got high in every video. Even if you didn't see me smoking a joint, I had smoked a joint like an hour before I filmed. I was always fucking high. <sighs> but I don't smoke weed anymore, people. Because that shit is not good for my mental health. And there's ants, there's ants all over the ground. And I hope you appreciate that I came out here to do this for the camera. Yes, for myself, but also for anybody that wants to watch and hear somebody have talk therapy with himself. Uh, but I'm, I'm now uh, heroically sitting here on top of ants, possibly crawling on my body parts for possibly... Two or three people's entertainment, if they're listening up until this point. And there could be people with an earshot of me. There's a bum over there someplace. He was sleeping by a tree. There's another couple over there romantically involved in the spot I was going to take. But they were there in my spot, so I had to sit in the middle of the park. Normally, I would go to the far corner. But yeah... But this is good. This is therapeutic for me. I'm, I am, I am, I'm being myself. I'm saying things I would actually not say to you in real life, but these are things that I would be thinking to myself in my own head. That's another fucking problem with video making. I, at least for me, I, I review these videos. I know I said I didn't watch them. I watch little bits as much as I can take because I cringe when I see and hear myself. But uh, the little bit that I do see, I think to myself, number one, that's not me. Number two, that's not how I sound in my own head. And uh, yeah, I'm a much more fucking... Uh, I, I just seem like a more articulate, intelligent person in my own mind, at least. But not on here. Not on here, though. Because when I review it and I watch it, I think, wow, you are a fucking buffoon. You are an imbecile, sir. You are a, a, a loser. Why did you say that? Why did you do that? Why, do you, why did you express yourself like that? Why did you reveal such information about yourself, your sex life and so forth, and portraying yourself as a loser and everything you've done? But uh, all I could say is this is about honesty. This is about being real. This is about showing you one's true self and not hamming it up for Facebook and showing you the highlight reel and trying to make your life out to be better than it is. This is real life. This is real shit. 
and this is therapy and I feel better now I've, I've got this off my chest this is what I needed to do this is I was in my room I was having cabin fever I was in my own mind and head and I needed to get these words out on film and uh, yeah there you go I'm gonna walk now fuck it and normally this is where I'd say boom and shut off the camera but because it's therapy who really gives a shit and I got time left I got time left Nah, uh, somebody's gonna fucking hear me. At, at some point, somebody will. And if I don't keep talking, why, then who the hell would keep watching? Until next time, boom.